Welcome to my channel. Désolé, il faut me laisser faire ma chose. Tu vas pas aller manger. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is our moment by Patricia Aram. And today is a very special day because we are going home to see Mom and Dad! I have visited home like two to three times this year. Today is not a good day, but good things are going to happen today. So guys, I don't know why God has decided to pay me my monthly salary on this day. This is too much for me to take in. But anyway, it don't spoil anything because I'm trying very hard. My mood swings are getting in the way, but well, I tell them, hold on. Hold on, I'm gonna see the most important people in my life today. So wait, when we go and we see everybody, we are happy and you start your thing. Don't, don't, don't come and disturb me right now. Let's go and see mom and dad together. I'm, I'm so excited. This is trying to get in the way of my happiness, but I won't let it get to me right now. I've already packed everything which you will see in the video before this. So let's just go and take car. I bought it for both and I've decided to cancel my ride two times. But I told myself, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. So, however, I'm gonna drag these bags, two bags there to Accra station. I will do with the go because the bus will set off around 12 o'clock and now it's almost 10.30 so roughly by 11, 11 something I should be there because I like buying my water, fruit juice over there so let's go, let's go guys tell me in the comment section how I'm looking let me show you my dress a mini dress with food I don't know why I've chosen a green bag, but this is the bag I want to use. And these are my snacks bags. I'm just gonna go like that. Well, I forgot my vitamins. Let me pick them up and start going. I pack everything. <laughs> vlogging at the station and our car was so delayed but I got there late in the night so I stopped vlogging you should have seen the happiness on the face of my mom and dad seeing me <laughs> I surprised them I didn't let them pick me up at the border I crossed it to myself and I came home they were like wow we're, we're kind of coming to pick you up why did you come by yourself and the next morning i did some rounds and this is one of the side business of my mom is ice block or ice cube normally when it's holidays like this some people don't really have fridge so some of them want to do picnic at the beach or those places that the the those event places so they buy ice to chill their drinks and let's say this is me packing them packing the already the ones that are already and reloading the fridge for her while well, I was ready for my stylist to come but she she delayed me so I got my hair done late late at night so I couldn't video that side too well hello guys good morning I know I haven't officially come to talk over here I don't know what's wrong with my voice this voice, I need to use it to sing. Do you understand? So you better comfort yourself. It's Friday morning. Yesterday, I slept around almost 1 a.m. because of this one. Yeah, 
baby here. I don't know why I haven't been productive. Maybe it's because I don't have a tripod. Today, I'm going to go to a big market in Togo to try and see if I can get a tripod because I'm sick and tired of this situation already. I did not bring my mic. I don't know how I pack my things. It's a last minute packing. I can't even really position my bag well. It's just a small tripod that I use normally for my uh, Insta and TikTok videos. I can't use it to vlog. Well, it's okay. I've been here for a while now. A lot has been happening. I'm just home with mom and dad and my nephew. Three of them. One of them make me not to want to give birth to a boy. Truly speaking, he's a pain in the ass. His energy is, is more than like, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. He was disturbing my sleep. I don't know how come they wake up so early like that. But I was trying so hard to get enough sleep. I'm not done with my hair. We have to go and cut the excess hair. Wow, see. <laughs> they are not done. They have to go and cut it. And then I'm going to kill the, the math. Guys, Ultra is not expensive here. Here they are selling it. Uh, 1500 safer. Even though my sister was telling me that the lady here, her things are expensive, but there is a place at where her shop is, they are selling 1300, which is which is almost like uh, let me say 15 CDs, 16 CDs. And back in Ghana, they are selling this thing to us 40 CDs. Oh, that's too much. This is even from retail people. I don't know how the people that sell it in big quantity it is going to be lower than this. Some of the things in Ghana is just the people that are not being nice to each other, the people that are not being fair to each other because I don't understand why this thing is, is not up to 20 CDs and they are selling it double the price. It's, it's too much. That is why the money doesn't even have any value anymore. Let me not talk too much about it. It's just a the economy that we are living in spend the day with me let's go to the market get some few things gift for my boss we always do that every year and one or two people send me to buy something for them here in the world so let's just get into it my mom made porridge this morning i didn't drink before leaving so she cook spaghetti she knows i'm not fan of boy yeah. This is how we have our spaghettis with um, tomatoes, onions, and uh, pepper and egg. She knows I'm a picky eater. See the way they have made this food. I see if it's a kid that is going to eat this. I'm not going to eat this yams. She knows that. I'm not a fan of boy yam. I don't like it. If they fry it, I will eat. Oh, you guys, you're invited. She made this drink herself. It's made of lemon, tea leaves, and some other thing with sweetener. I'll be going to town, but I have to withdraw money. The other time, I came so late in the night, so I couldn't really withdraw money. And moreover, I was angry because I don't know how come I bring so much money from Ghana and I'll get small money here in Togo money. It wasn't like that. It was the other way around. I don't know how we are surviving in Ghana. But let me tell you, Togo life is cheap than Ghana life. One thing about living in Togo is that Togo is not a busy country and business doesn't really move that much like the way businesses move in Ghana. That's the only difference. Let's go to the big market of Togo together. When we crossed the border, I couldn't video because the immigration officers, whenever I cross the border, I get boyfriend from them. I don't know why. They were saying my younger brother was my elder brother. I don't know why they are saying that, but it's okay. We got to the market and we started going around to buy our things. We we're not getting whatever I wanted. But, well, let me tell you, my brother know how to price things. My brother know how to price things. If he had not followed me to this market, I know they would cheat me. They would cheat me and I'll come back. This is what online shopping has done to me. But thank God I'm over it now. From my clothes 
to my accessories at home they are all from online i like to drink this online i don't know why i'm obsessed with that but thank god i'm getting over it now well he got good price of things some of the things we couldn't get them because he said it, it was too expensive and they are using um the holidays to price things that we should go and come back the next day which was a good idea by the way and we we left and the following morning i was having some great time with my nephew thanks for watching please subscribe to my youtube channel don't forget to like and comment until i see you bye for now